Coming up on KCTV, taking a political stand. And we'll see how well some Centennial students do when we ask them some political trivia questions. All this and more because KCTV starts right now. What we do here is go back, 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 back. back. In just over three and a half weeks, the United States will elect a new president and some Centennial students are getting politically involved. I'm Chris. And I'm Brad. Welcome to KCTV. Federal law designates the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November as National Election Day. This year, the date is November 8th. Two politically minded clubs, the Young Democrats and Young Republicans, are hoping their voices are heard here at Centennial. KCTV's Paige Shaver has more. They're definitely going, I thought the idiot would have self-imploded. There are a lot of complaints about this year's presidential candidates, whether it be Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. One of the ways you can help out for the future is by becoming more involved. Take the Young Republicans of Centennial, for instance. Offering CAP credit for senior government, you can find the club meeting every first and third Tuesday in Mr. Murphy's room at lunch. So the point of the club is to kind of share our viewpoints with Centennial because there's already a Young Democrat club, so we thought it'd be a good idea to make a Young Republican club, and that's how it pretty much got started. And so if everyone could come out, that'd be cool. There are roughly 20 members ranging from sophomores to seniors, but all grade levels are welcome to join, including you, freshmen. With the election being this November, there is plenty to talk about in the club meetings. Right now, we're just going over like the current events that are happening like in the debates and um, election and stuff, and we're going to do some fundraising and go over that and go over t-shirts. To reiterate, you can earn CAP credit by being an active member of the club, which makes it worth your while on top of having valuable discussions with your peers. And remember, no matter what your political affiliation, whether it be Republican, Democrat, or Independent, the most important thing is that your voice is heard. Kay Schaefer, KCTV, Centennial High School. Once the election is over, the weather will be turning cold here in the Treasure Valley, and the snow team says that's the way they like it. Hey, all you skiers and snowboarders out there. It's time to start thinking about the ski season. So we've got something for everybody. We have snowboarders and skiers and cross-country skiing and freestyle. And if you want to be on a championship team at Centennial, snow team is the team to join. We're going to start our meetings up here pretty quick on Mondays at lunch, and our first meeting will be Monday, October 31st. You can earn a varsity letter. We go up there on Saturdays in January and February, and there's always centennial patriots all over the mountain that you can ski and snowboard with and have a great time. The best thing about Snow Team is our end-of-season trip. Last year we went to Jackson Hole. This year our seniors are deciding right now where they want to go to, so probably Utah or Mount Hood or some other fun place that they can think of. So it's time to get out your snow gear. It's time to thank snow and join snow team. You may recall that earlier this week, Hill Photography was here for senior pictures and for picture retakes. But you may not realize that the front office still has dozens of picture packets from August that haven't been picked up. Hey Centennial. Come pick up your dang pictures. It's been a month. Look, there's tons. Look at all these pictures. You gotta come get them. To get his pictures. Hey guys. <laughs> so, we put Norman in our video? people will need to get their pictures. Because the pictures have been here for too gosh darn long. One kid. Calvin I. Arstein. Arstein? Come get your pictures, Arstein. Get your pictures, guys. Finally, with Election Day right around the corner and knowing that in just a few years all of us will be eligible to vote, we thought it would be fun to play a little political trivia. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're walking around the halls of Centennial right now, and due to the upcoming election in 26 days, we're going to see if the students around here know a little bit about our country. <music> Who are the three countries we fought against in World War II? 
<laughs> okay, Germany. Don't look at me. <laughs> Germany and Germany. Germany, Germany, Germany. Correct. What is the supreme law of the land? Um, I don't know what that is. So we elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? I don't know. What do we call the first ten amendments to the United States Constitution? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um. What are the three declared rights named in the Declaration of Independence? Right to uh, bear arms, free speech, and uh, read literature because I'm an English teacher. And that's KCTV for today, fellas. I'm Brad. And I'm Chris. We hope you have a great day.